get wet. Now this is not to scare the shit out of you. This is just to give you the realisation that we don't give you warnings just for the sake of it. These oh, are crawling around. But this one is also dead inside yeah. the fridge, right? Does it pop at it? Yeah. No, that takes no one, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> this is, is not, not that one, but there is one. This is the most common venomous snake around here, for you, and in southern Africa. This thing is responsible for probably about 60% of snake bites in southern Africa. It's one of the fastest striking snakes in the world, but it's also one of the laziest. Its general behaviour is to sit curled up, wait for food to go past it. Now look at that coloration. So if this thing is sitting curled up in the dirt, in the grass, and you're not careful, say that this snake jumps but my own personal opinion is that what's happened is the snake has probably just recently had a poop and so it's lost that anchor so that when it does strike out the force of that strike actually pulls the body with it and it seems like it's jumping but this thing when it strikes it hits you at 26 kilometers an hour ouch when it when it strikes when it when it hits a rat, it bends it in half, breaks it in half. It's an incredibly powerful snake. But as you can see, it's quite classic. It's not it's not out to get you. It's not sitting there waiting for you to pass by so that it can bite you. It's just that if you if you don't see it and step right beside it or more likely on top of it, then it just bites in self-defense. But the other good thing is that quite often these snakes will not defend in the first bite. The first bite is just a defensive one, so they can actually control their venom. They can decide whether to put venom into the bite or not. So they quite often give what we call a dry bite. So we don't have to... This is, but this is why whenever we go out in the bush, even during the day, we do not go out into the bush in flip-flops or sandals. We wear proper closed shoes. That's why I wear flimsy shoes. Yeah, this thing, as it stands at this age, has fangs probably about eight to ten millimeters long. When it's fully grown, its fangs will be nearly two centimeters long. <laughs> yeah. See now, now it starts to get a little bit. Now you'll tag or will you do the belly scale clips as well? Too? Belly scale clips, I will insert a pit tag and then I'll attach the transmitter about here. 
just about at the widest part of the body. Hello. Are you moving to 500 kilometers or 500 meters? Or? 500 meters. Yeah, yeah, they don't like me. That is the pop yeah. up. Wow. Is that the noise he's making the pop sound? Oh, Not Not Sure. Are you a festival? Yes. There we go. Thank you. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Because it's got contact around the body, it seems to calm it down. It's only when it, they're open. You're pinching. I'm not pinching, I'm just trying to... He doesn't like it. Make sure he's... he's like... <laughs> perfectly. Pretty sure he doesn't like the last Just close day. the <laughs> lid, man. Stop fiddling around, just close the lid. Hello? Yeah? Yeah? Yes, I'm sure. Okay, listen. I know. Let's see how that turns out. Be too, Lucy. 